This is the new Class 222 Meridium, designed especially for Midland Mainline. Built by Bombardier, these diesel-electric multiple units incorporate the very latest technology, which includes electric traction transmission for high performance and low noise, low friction steering bogies, a top speed of 125 miles per hour or 200 kilometers per hour, and computer fault diagnostics through the train management system. Meridian operates in both four and nine car formations, each being made up of a combination of six different types of vehicle. A1 is a driving cab vehicle. The cab is modern, spacious and ergonomic, with its own independent air conditioning system. The train management system, or TMS screen, gives the driver information about all of the train's sophisticated systems, as well as providing instant warnings of potential problems. Linked to the TMS are the passenger information system and the seat reservation systems. The A1 car has standard accommodation with a spacious universal access toilet. In a four vehicle unit, there is one wheelchair position while a nine vehicle unit has two. Each vehicle has an independent heating, ventilation and air conditioning system. In the event of a failure, it can be switched to emergency, which provides a mixture of fresh and recirculated air. Next in the sequence is the A2 vehicle, with standard accommodation and the stylish retail outlet, which has been designed as a cafe bar. In this compact but well-designed space, you'll find a bean-to-cup coffee machine, which is certain to be very popular with customers, plus a lot of features which will help staff, like the self-closing doors on the chilled cabinet. There's also a microwave oven, a freezer, and two wash basins with stirable covers. There's even space for the retail trolley and two chill trolleys, plus, of course, the all-important till. The retail outlet has been designed to maximize space, so there's even a magazine rack on the back of the stable door. It's also been designed with staff in mind, so to keep them in touch and informed at all times, this panel conceals a PA handset and a TMS screen. The A3 vehicle only appears in a nine-car unit. It has standard accommodation with a central luggage stack and a space-saving toilet. Standard and first class are combined in the A4 vehicle, which also has a space-saving toilet. Only four-car units feature this vehicle. The A5 vehicle is only used in nine-car units and has first accommodation throughout. The A5 also has a space-saving toilet. The final vehicle, common to both four and nine car units, is designated A6. It's a driving cab vehicle with first accommodation, a universal access toilet, one wheelchair position, and the all-important galley. The galley, which our catering staff helped to design, is unique to Midland Mainline. It packs an astonishing range of equipment yet it's surprisingly spacious. Amongst the facilities are three combi steam ovens, which, believe it or not, can fry eggs, and a bain-marie. There's a microwave oven, and a roller toaster with automatic color control. There are two hot water dispensers, a dishwasher, hand wash basins, and there's still room for two freezer trolleys chilled and serving trolleys and waste trolleys. Plus, of course, all of the necessary safety equipment, including an emergency power off button. On the outside of both the A2 and A6 vehicles, there are water level indicators, which should be checked at regular intervals. Signals from these indicators are also transmitted to the train management system. Four car units are made up like this. One A1 vehicle, followed by an A2 and an A4, with an A6 completing the set. Nine car units start with an A1 vehicle with two wheelchair positions. 
This is followed by four A3 vehicles, then an A2 with the retail unit, two all first A5 vehicles, and the A6 with the galley complete the unit. For passengers and crew alike, all of the vehicles have plenty of storage. The saloons of all vehicles have luggage racks and stacks, and a lockable newspaper box located in the luggage rack at the end of each vehicle. For staff, there are nine spacious lockers in the crew accommodation area of the A1 vehicles. Each member of staff will be issued with a personal padlock to secure their locker. And below the crew lockers, there is a cycle stowage area with security straps. Passengers will appreciate the high level of comfort and convenience offered by Meridian, which includes two different types of toilet. The universal toilet is designed for ease of use by disabled passengers and is also equipped with a folding baby change facility. The wide door gives easy access. The control buttons are touch sensitive and the door is electrically operated, requiring no physical effort to open or close. There are two call for aid units, one located at normal height and the other close to floor level. The door to the universal toilet may be opened or closed from the outside using the push button controls. It can only be locked from the inside. Operation is simple. Press the door close button, the door will close and the lock push button will flash. Press this to lock the door, the door locked indicator illuminates. If the lock button has not been pressed within five seconds, a voice message will remind the occupant. Please remember to lock the door. In the event of an emergency, someone locked inside the toilet may escape by opening this cover and operating the green handle. From the outside, the door can be unlocked with a square key. This panel in the vestibule gives access to a rotary switch which locks the toilet out of use and the door is automatically closed and locked out of use by the train management system when the toilet tank is full. The standard space saver toilet is compact but comfortable. In addition to all of the usual facilities, there is a call for aid unit located above the toilet pedestal. In an emergency, the door can be opened with a square key which can also be used to lock the toilet out of service. Meridian makes use of the latest technology to improve levels of both service and safety. For example, there are four passenger communication or PASCOM points in each of the passenger saloons. There is also one in every vestibule and another in the train manager's position. Operation of any PASCOM device or emergency door release opens a direct communication link with the driver. At the same time, an enhanced service brake application sequence is initiated, which only the driver can override. There are also call for aid panels, seven in a four-car unit and 13 in a nine-car unit. They're located in all of the toilets and at the tables in the wheelchair positions. Operation is easy. The passenger simply pushes the red button to call for assistance. This alerts the train manager with the call for A jingle and a TMS level 3 alarm. By pressing the push to talk button on any PA handset, the train manager can talk to the passenger. The call for aid panels are also linked to the train management system. Call for aid panels remain active until reset using a square key. Meridian is also equipped with a voice communication system which enables the driver, train manager and crew to talk to each other and when necessary broadcast pre-recorded messages. Another important safety feature linked to the TMS is the closed circuit television system which is monitored in the train manager's area. Each vehicle is equipped with four cameras and the system is normally set to cycle through one vehicle every five seconds. In the event of an alarm, the system will stop cycling and will lock on to the nearest available camera. For the crew, 
panic alarm push buttons are located in the galley and retail bar. The train is also fitted with comprehensive internal and underframe fire detection equipment with automatic engine compartment extinguishers. Manual fire alarm points are located on the side entrance panel by the door in the galley and near the stable door on the inside of the retail outlet. All of the vehicles have aircraft style emergency exit route lighting in the aisles, vestibules and at the exterior doors. The Meridian has three types of access door. A driver or authorised person with cab access rights can enter through the cab doors. The doors are equipped with a gated square key lock and an inset handle. They are monitored by a micro switch, which indicates the door status on the TMS. Traction is not lost if the door is open to allow for yard movements. The cab access doors are self-locking. From the driver's cab, the door to either the crew area or galley is opened with a handle. From the other side, it is opened with a gated square key. From the platform level, train crew can gain access to the vehicles via the crew access doors, which are also opened with a gated square key. The passenger doors feature a selective door operating system. Train stop boards with information about platform length are displayed on every station. Using this information, the driver must select the number of vehicles to have their doors released at every station, even when the train is shorter than the platform. The body side indicator lights will illuminate on the selected vehicles when the passenger access doors have been released for use. The passengers can now open these doors using the open push buttons. Every door has a low level step light which remains on as long as the door is open. Similarly, the unique interior welcome lights fade up as soon as the door is opened and remain illuminated until the doors are closed. A sounder is installed on each door mechanism which emits different sounds for door released, door closing, this is also known as the hustle alarm, and emergency egress activated. In addition to the passenger door controls in each vestibule, there's an emergency door release handle and a combined microphone loudspeaker unit to enable communication with the driver in an emergency. A local door control panel allows the train manager to supervise departure from the most convenient point. If an obstacle is detected while a passenger door is closing, the door reopens completely, suspends operation for three seconds and attempts to close again. This is repeated three times. Once the obstacle is removed, press the close doors button. If this fails, the door should be manually closed by sliding it and pulling it shut. From the outside of the train, slide the door until the leading edge makes contact with the door frame, then push the door into the fully closed position. If a door fails to open or close correctly, it can be locked out of use with a square key. Always make sure that the door locked out of use sign is illuminated. A green emergency access handle is provided at every external passenger access door, but must only be used in an emergency. A wheelchair access ramp is stored in this cupboard, next to the universal toilet. The ramp folds up so that it occupies very little space. To use it, simply unfold it, fasten the latches securely and ensure that the securing pegs are correctly positioned in the locating holes in the door step. Within the train, there are three types of interior automatic sliding doors, each of which has a floor-mounted foot switch to the right-hand side to enable you to open the door when your hands are full. From the intermediate ends of the driving cars, double saloon doors give access to the vestibule. The gangway doors between the cars operate in pairs. And from the vestibule, there are single automatic doors through to the saloons. When a door is operational, the push button is illuminated. Should the power supply fail, the door can be opened manually. Saloon and gangway doors can be isolated using switches operated by a square key. 
The door between the saloon and the galley on the A6 vehicle is lockable from the galley side. All interior doors are fitted with a fire safety device. If the ambient temperature rises above 65 degrees centigrade, the power to the door control unit is cut and the doors can only be opened manually. Meridian has been designed from the inside out to provide the best possible travelling experience for passengers and the best possible working environment for drivers and train crew.